Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create these Grinch Starbucks cups. I think these turned out really good as I'm still learning how to layer things, but they were really easy to create and they will make great Christmas gifts. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make these. All right guys, so starting in Design Space, I have these two files that I'm going to be using. I purchased these separately from Etsy. Um, one thing I wanna tell you really quick, if you do purchase this particular file, um, this one is the correct size. This one, however, is not. Obviously, it's pretty big. I'll shrink my screen and show you guys really how big it is. So this is how it comes when you upload it into Design Space. So what I'm actually gonna do is shrink my screen one more time, select this guy, and then just shrink him up. And then I'm going to make my screen full size again. And what I do is just kind of make it roughly the same size as this one. Um, and then another thing that I do really quick, and it's up to you whether or not you want to do this. So these two colors are separate. The red is uh, well, not separate, different color. So this color and this color are two separate reds. And then this green and this green are two separate greens. So instead of cutting out several different colors of the same color, if that makes sense, um, what I do is actually ungroup it. So with the selected, I go to the ungroup box up here, and then I'm going to do that for this guy too. I'm just going to click on group. Now I can see all the colors on the side here. So what I'm going to do is actually click on each one of these red ones and change the color. So the way just to do that is uh, click on the one you want to start with. And then I have a Mac. So mine's going to be different than yours. I'm sorry. I don't really know which button it is for a regular PC to uh, select more than one image. But for mine, I'm going to hold the command button down and then just click on every one of these green ones. So I'm just going to go to the next one and hold down the command button and do that for each one of the red ones. So now I have all of the red attached, or actually I have all of the red um, selected. So up here, I'm gonna go to this basic cut area. Here it says a little question mark because it's saying it's two different colors. So what I'm gonna do is just change them to be this red color. So now when these cut out, they will be all the same color red. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the green. You can see here this green and this green are different. So I'm gonna go to the side box here and start with the first one and then just go down and find the next one. And I'm just gonna hold my command button down and then that should be it, it's just those two. Do the same thing, go to the little color box up here and then change it. So that is it. Actually, the white too, I've noticed <laughs> for whatever reason, there's a different color white. So I'm gonna do the same thing on here one last time. Find the white and then the other white one, I think there's only two, and then select both of those. Yep, two different whites and change that to be just a regular white. So now when I go to cut it out, instead of it being uh, different colors of the same primary color, <laughs> I guess is the way to say it, it will cut out as you see it. So I love this because um, all you have to do is click the make it button and I'll show you really quick what it looks like. So here it is, instead of having different mats here with different colors, it's gonna be one white, one black, uh, one red, and then, oops, nope, I missed one somewhere guys. I should have only this on one mat. So I screwed up somewhere and missed it, don't do that. So I'm gonna show you in case you do mess up on that, sorry about the beeping in the background, is you go to the one you wanna move, click on the three little dots up here, and then select move object, and then go to the one that you want it to go to. So I want it to go to this other black one. So in case you make the mistake like I did, you just have to do that and just move it over so you have enough room to get your scissors in between there, and then everything else should be fine. There we go, here's a yellow for the eyes. This black is not gonna cut out because there's nothing on it. Then we have the red. What I like to do is just move things over just a tad so I can get my scissors in between here. So that's the hat and then the red eyes. And then the same thing with the black here and then the white. This will cut out as one piece and then this is the sleeve to his piece. So I'm going to click continue and show you what it looks like and what uh, materials I like to use. So since I'm putting these on the Starbucks cups, I highly, highly, highly recommend you using uh, 651, the permanent vinyl. I was sent some vinyl from a company and I didn't realize it wasn't permanent. So I cut out about 20 of these images and started putting them on and I noticed the next day they started coming off and I'm like, oh my goodness. So please don't make another mistake like I did and just start out with 651 permanent vinyl. Um, 
yeah, so don't make the same mistake I did. So I have here for my base materials, I always use this stencil vinyl here. It just cuts it out really well for me. Um, and uh, what I like to do, actually, I'm gonna show you one more thing. I don't know if it's because my blade needs to be replaced or if it just makes it cut better, but for the pressure here, I have a maker. I actually click more and it helps so much better. I don't know, you can try it out. Let me know if that, got, if that works for you or let me know maybe I need a new blade. I do have a ton of new blades that I was gifted, so maybe I'll try a new blade and see. But that's just how I do it. I use the stencil vinyl and then I change the pressure to more. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut all of these colors out. I do have multiples um, already cut out, so I'm gonna cut some more of these out and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all done and weeded and show you the process of uh, layering it on your Starbucks cup. All right guys, so I have my files all cut out. You can see there's many of them here that we have to put together, but I have them all cut out and weeded. This is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna wanna put a lot of layers on here. Um, this one, all I'm missing is this white piece here, but I wanna show you what it looks like when it's all finished. So there it is. Um, just a couple of things here. The first thing you wanna do is actually clean your um, cup off with some alcohol and a wipe. So you just wanna take your cup and uh, put some alcohol and a cotton pad or you know whatever you might have laying around, but you wanna just make sure you clean all of it. It's not gonna take anything up. You're just cleaning all the debris or dust or finger marks or anything that might be there. So I'm gonna do the front and then I'm gonna do the back and I'm just holding it down at the bottom so that more fingerprints do not go on here. All right, so while this is going to be drying, I'm gonna show you the first step. So you wanna kind of organize this where you know the front goes with the front pieces and the back of the back. So I'm taking the white part here, um, the Grinch's finger, her hand, and then the red ornament, and then the last piece, the black part of his hand. Like I said, it's a lot of layering, but once you get it going, it's going to be a lot easier. So I have the white part, his hat, the green part of his face, and then the black. So the first thing you're gonna wanna start with, and you might do this differently than I do. I actually don't like layering it all together on here. I actually like layering it right on the cup itself. I wanna show you really quick. I bought this off of um, Amazon, and I don't know about it yet if I really like it or not. Um, I'm used to putting my cups down on the uh, table itself, but this actually does help a lot. Um, I haven't really used it much. So I can't really tell you much about it, but it's just simple as can be. This is it. This is how it goes, but it does definitely help out. So the first part I'm going to do is take the black part. And like I said, you guys might layer different than I do. I like to do it directly on the cup. So I'm just going to take a piece of my transfer tape that I already had cut out and put it right on top of the file. Then you're gonna wanna take your squeegee or whatever you have to get all the bubbles out and um, put it on your transfer tape. Then what I do is like to flip it upside down and make sure all the piece comes off. So just like that. So then you're gonna wanna take your part and I do it on the back of this just because you don't wanna see all that stuff. So taking it and trying to get it as centered as possible to go over those lines. And then I like to just work my way out. So start in the middle and then start pressing out. You don't want to have any air bubbles or anything in here. You can also take your little squeegee and go on it again. But I do like this cup thing. It does seem to help out a lot with getting your stuff straight. So I'm just taking it and making sure it's stuck on everywhere. Then just take a part of your transfer tape and peel it off. And this next part gets a little bit difficult, more difficult because I am layering one by one rather than taking it and layering it and then putting it on. Like I said, that's your decision and how you want to do it. So the next piece I'm going to do is actually the Grinch face. So I'm going to do the same thing. Take my transfer tape that I just used and put it right over the Grinch face. Squeegee it really well. And then pull backwards again so I can see all the pieces that come off. And just take this and put it on here. I'm trying to show you guys how I can get this on here. And just layer it from here. I'm just leaving a little bit of black out on the outside. And like I said, it might be easier for you guys if you actually want to layer it before you put it on, but this is just how I do it. It just works out a lot better for me. So I just put it on there. You can see just like that. So there's two layers on here. So now you have to be more careful when you pull up the transfer tape that you're not pulling the black or the green off. So just like that. Then you're gonna wanna take, I think it's the eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna take the white part. So you can't really see it here, but I have the hat part and then the eyes there as well. Sorry, same process again. Take your transfer tape. No 
all that on and then I pull backwards make sure I get all the pieces off so there are two eyes here um, and then I have these pieces I'm not sure what that is I think that was from a previous one that I created and then you just want to match it up here so I'm matching the eyes up and kind of match the eyes up first and then I go with the hat and kind of see where that goes but for whatever reason, I have the wrong size hat. I'm just going to be honest with you. Instead of just going back and recutting and editing this, um, I did cut the wrong size hat, or I might have it somewhere in my pile here. Um, but just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you really quick. So I'm going to put this hat on. It's going to be too small for um, this Grinch, but I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. So it's just like that, just lining it up. You don't want so much black on here like I have right now. Um, I just, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm always honest with you guys. If I screw up on something, I'm always going to tell you, and I screwed up on that. That is not what it's supposed to look like. I have another one here. This one is obviously a lot better. It just has way too much black on the side here. But just for the purposes of the video, I'm going to show you just what it looks like. So I made a mistake. Make sure that you grab the correct uh, sizes. I have a whole bunch of files over here on the side that you can't see much. So I must have messed up somewhere. So now I'm going to start with the other side. You're going to want to start with the circle part. So I have the circle part here. And then I also have the um, his... Uh, part of his arm here. So I'm going to take the same piece of transfer tape. I love working with the same pieces if it's big enough. And then take your squeegee and then just again all we're doing is just layering it up. It might be easiest for you just to layer it up before you do it but this is just the way that I like to do it. So now I'm basically just taking it and trying to find the center here so that it goes around the whole thing without little edges on the side. Basically, if you just want to line it up, line it up right here from the star to the circle, it should fit just perfectly. So I'm just going to take my finger, my thumb, and I'm going to lay this part down too up here. That should match up exactly how I have it. So then carefully peel back. And you want to be extra careful with this because it is a circle and sometimes circles are difficult to peel up, especially when they are so thin like this one is. So you just want to take your time with this. Okay, there we go. Here's the first part here. And then again, you're just going to want to layer. So you just want to find your next piece. This one's done. Um, and then the next piece is um, the black part. I'm actually going to layer both of these together. So what I'm going to do is actually take the green part. And this is going to make the process a little bit easier. This is what I'm talking about, about um, putting everything together before you even start, which I don't like doing because sometimes I mess up on it. I have to get better at layering but this is just how I do it. So I took the green part and now I'm just going to put it right on the hand and I'm going to see if I can do this holding it to show you guys how I'm doing it. But I'm just lining it up here and then it should line up whoops it should line up perfectly once I can get it. I'm sorry guys I gotta put it down I can't do this I hope you guys can see this yet. It's too hard for me to hold it while I'm trying to put it up, but I will show you what it looks like when I get it on here. All right, so I have it on here. Now I'm taking the whole thing, the black part and the green part, and I put my transfer tape on it. Now I'm just going to peel it backwards. Now I'm going to take this again. And now I'm going to line it up here. So I want this piece touching up here, but I also need to make sure I'm getting in with the red. Perfect. All right, so I'll show you really quick. So I had to line it up with the red here, and I'm also lining it up with the circle little hole right there. So what I do is just take my thumb and rub it in really well. I put my heart and soul into these videos, and I really hope you guys are learning from me. So please give me a thumbs up if you do, and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. I love crafting, but sometimes it just takes a lot out of you. I'm always honest with you guys. I'm being honest. Um, so here it is, just like that. So the next part you're going to want to do is the white. Okay, so here is just the white part here. I'm not even going to bother putting transfer tape on. I'm just going to grab it off myself, and I'm just going to layer it right here on here, just like that. I do have a piece missing here, so I'm going to have to go back and find it, but that is basically how you guys do it, just like that. Here's the front again. Please make sure that you wash your cups really well before you start because if you don't, sometimes the vinyl will not stick. Another tip I have for you guys is to let this sit for 24 hours. Do not touch it. Do not do anything with it. Do not wash it. Nothing because you want the vinyl to have 
time to adhere properly to the cup. I also leave a little note in the inside saying hand wash only, do not put in the dishwasher, so people, if they receive it as a gift, they will know that. So um, yeah, just a couple of tips right there. Again, the little black part, I think I'm gonna take this off actually and go back and do it again so you don't see so much black. I'm not really sure what happened there, but. Again, I'm learning with my layering, so um, if you have any tips or tricks, please let me know. If you like this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, and I'd love to see your guys' projects if you're working on anything. So, happy crafting, everyone!